Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My Reefer 170 just completed week 8. The tank has been raising ammonia and nitrite last couple weeks. In my video week 7, I figured out that the fresh salt water mix had small amount of ammonia, which is normal and usually the bacteria in the tank can eat all those ammonia. However, my tank got through algae bloom that is probably caused by overfeeding of cytoplankton. And then I was changing water more often than usual that probably weakened the biofilter. The cycle has been done but the tank is still new. It's been about two weeks since the tank started raising ammonia and nitrite. Fish are all fine and eating well and behaving very well. But I lost three snails, so the water isn't good for sure. To decrease ammonia and nitrite, I tried a few methods. This is what I tried in last one week to decrease ammonia and nitrite. The first one is no water change. The second one is CKM Prime. Third one is Carbon and Media. No water change method actually worked to decrease ammonia. Ammonia was reaching to 0.5 ppm and it lowered to 0.25 ppm after a few days. During the no water change period, I also didn't clean the filters, so the bacteria stay there. But the nit nitrite is still growing even if ammonia has lowered, so I still need some action to stop it raising. The Seek and Prime, I was using this as a um, water conditioner until I get RODI water system installed. Prime removes chlorine from the tap water and detox ammonia, nitrite, and nitrate. So I tested if Prime can actually detox ammonia and nitrite. I made two buckets of salt water mixed water and then added Prime to one bucket. The other bucket was just salt mixed water. First, I made a salt water mix and I tested ammonia, it was 0.5 ppm. I added prime and I tested water a couple hours after, it lowered to 0.25 ppm. I also added prime to the tank at night and I see if it changes anything about ammonia and nitrite. The ammonia raised back to 0.5 ppm, but nitrite slowed down. It has been raising 0.02 to 0.03 ppm daily, but it raised only 0.012 ppm after adding prime. And then I changed water after, and an ammonia finally went down to zero. Prime works for emergency situation with ammonia and nitrite. It's active for 24 to 48 hours and I can see it's working to my tank situation. I also reviewed my tank system. I need to make sure the tank has good biofilter and avoid ammonia and nitrite rays in the future. So I added the carbon and then media. I used to have carbon and media in my old tank, but I haven't placed it to this new tank yet. Carbon absorbs toxic stuff in the water, such as phosphate, nitrite, and nitrate. Carbon sometimes works to solve the allergy issue. Allergy is phosphate. So it sometimes there are allergy even if the test result is zero for phosphates. 
because algae is eating phosphate to grow. And hopefully, this carbon will slow down the nitrite rays for my tank. The media will help to grow bacteria. It helps to build good biofilter to the tank. I finished adding bacteria at the end of week 4. The tank seemed cycled that time, but this is a still new tank. The bacteria probably went down after I finished the first bottle of bacteria. Adding media will hopefully help to rebuild the bacteria. I have been also adding Microbacter 7 again since the end of allergy bloom. After all, the nitrite finally lowered on the day 6 of week 8. Prime has been working, or also adding carbon possibly helped. Ammonia and nitrite finally stopped raising and then starting to lower, but it's still in the water. I will continue testing water and then hope it goes back to stable zero next week. Besides ammonia and nitrite rays, I'm also having a trouble with this guy. This is yellow clown gobby. He's adorable. I like the yellow fish swimming in the tank. It's pretty. But I found out he has been chewing up my SPS. Miyagi Tot is his favorite in my tank. It had nice polyps and color when I added it to this tank. One day, I saw yellow clone gobi is poking the SPS. I thought he's maybe cleaning up the allergy or something. But then, I realized all the polyps are all gone from the flag. So I'm rehoming this guy soon, but I'm having trouble to catch him. I tried several traps, but it's no success. I will be updating about trap in the other video. I also got Nuvo Fusion 20 gallon tank. I haven't decided what is tank going to be. Maybe fish only tank, or maybe quantity tank. Or if I cannot catch yellow clown gobi, then the reefer will be only soft coral and an LPS. Then I will make SPS tank to this Nuvo. Cross fingers that I can catch this yellow crown gobby and I hope I can continue SPS in a reefer. Thank you for watching my video. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Please also subscribe to catch up my future video. Thank you again. Bye!